In this video, we're going to learn how to use the fputs function in C. So the fputs function allows us to write a string to an output stream. And typically the output stream is a file. So we'll go over an example of using fputs to write strings to a file. The first thing we'll do is create a file pointer variable. We'll say file star file to create the variable called file. Next we'll use fopen to open the file. We'll say file is equal to fopen file.txt and then we'll have w as the second argument. Now calling fopen like this is going to have an attempt to open file.txt in write mode. So if the file doesn't exist, it will be created. If the file does exist, its contents will be overwritten as if we were starting off with a blank file. fopen is gonna return the file pointer and we're gonna store that in a file with the assignment here. We're gonna use that file pointer with f puts to actually write to the file. Now, if f open fails, it's going to return null. So we'll check for that. If file is equal to null, we know there's been an error opening the file and we can't proceed. And if that's the case, we're gonna print out error opening file to let the user know that there's been an error opening the file. We're also gonna return one because that's a signal to the shell, to the terminal, that something has gone wrong in the execution of our program. So after this if statement, we know the file has been opened correctly. And now we can actually use f puts to write some content to the file. So we're going to say f puts. And the first argument here is going to be a string literal. So I'll say abc and then backslash n for a new line. The second argument is going to be the file pointer, file. So we'll save this. And we'll have an f close here too. We'll say f close file to close the file once we're done working with it. Now we can compile and test our program. So we'll compile the program and then we'll test it out. Let's check out the file. So the file contains ABC and then our terminal starts on a new line here because of this special new line character here. We could use F puts without the new line character. So I could say F puts and then one, two, three and then I could say file here. And then we could say f puts four, five, six, and then backslash n for a new line, followed by file. Then if we compile our program and run it and check out the file, here on the second line, we'll have one, two, three, followed directly by four, five, six. So it's not like every time we call f puts, it's automatically putting this string on a new line. It's up to us to manage that by putting in the new line characters ourselves with backslash n. Now f puts can be used with string literals like these. f puts can also be used with strings stored in character arrays. So it could say car string open bracket close bracket is equal to test string backslash n. Then we could say f puts string file. And this is going to write the string contained in this character array here to the file. So we could save this, compile our program, run it and check out the file. And then we get test string at the end of our file there. Now, one thing that's important to note about F puts is that it doesn't write the null terminator to the output stream. So all strings in C are terminated with something called the null terminator. It's a special character at the very end of the string that signifies the end of the string. That special null terminator character is not written to the output stream with F puts. Now we can use F puts to write to any output stream, not just files. So for example, we could write to the standard output stream by saying F puts string and then std out here. And what this will do is write the string to standard output which is actually the shell here, the terminal by default. We'll compile the program, run it, and now we get test string here. Test string is still in the file because we're still writing it to the file the same as we did before. But now we also get the string output to the terminal here, and that's because we used standard output with fputs. Now it is possible for fputs to fail. Say for example, if we open the file in read mode, with R here. 
that would cause f puts to fail. If f puts fails, it will return the constant eof for end of file. We could check for that. We'll call f puts like this. We'll say if f puts writing to standard in. Then here we're going to say stdin for the standard input stream. And if f puts equals eof. In other words, if f puts returns the special constant eof, then we have an error. In that case, we can print out f puts error, followed by a new line. And again, we can return one as an error signal. We can save this, compile the program, and run it. And now we get f puts error. And the problem here is that we're trying to write with f puts to the standard input stream. We can't write to the standard input stream. f puts also supports p error. So we could say here p error error. And p error will actually output the error that's occurred. So if we compile and run the program here, now we get this error bad file descriptor there. So that's how we can use the fputs function in C to write a string to an output stream. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.